2023 Hyundai Kona Review, Subcompact Class Act With its youthful appearance, light-footed handling, and long list of standard features, the new 2023 Hyundai Kona Subcompact Crossover remains a popular choice in this class, despite having been on the market for five years. It's being replaced in the USA for the 2024 model year, but there's plenty of life left in the old one, with the 2023 Kona arriving with a few tweaks to see it through until the end of its life. The number of Hyundai Kona competitors shows that local buyers are spoilt for choice with rivals such as the Kia Soul, Volkswagen Taos, and class-leading Mazda CX-30 all competing for a slice of the pie. With the old car still competitive in terms of driving dynamics, value for money, and feature count and with every safety review of the Hyundai Kona giving it excellent marks, the current model still demands a lot of respect and is set to go out with a bang. Two engines offer a choice between a weedy 147 horsepower base engine and a punchy 195 horsepower turbo option, with AWD available as well. 2023 Hyundai Kona changes. What's the difference versus the 2022 Kona? For the 2023 model year, the N line with technology package trim is dropped and only some of its features are redistributed to other trims. Its power sunroof and 10.25 inch infotainment screen now become standard on the normal N line, but its adaptive cruise control, highway driving assist, and Harman Kardon audio system are now fitted to the limited only. The SAL with the convenience package gains a 10.25 inch touchscreen with navigation. Heated side mirrors with integrated turn signals and a rear USB port are now standard across the board. All the SAL trims gain a power driver's seat and an up and down feature for their power windows this year, and the SAL with the convenience package, as well as trims above this, gain the ability to receive over-the-air software updates. Pros and Cons Eye-catching styling Fun to drive Good value for money Long list of standard features. Powerful turbo engine option. Asthmatic base engine. Small rear seat and trunk. Budget interior finish. 2023 Hyundai Kona handling and driving impressions. The Kona's suspension system strikes an admirable balance between comfort and sport, and while the car feels pointy, responsive, and fun to drive, this does not come at the expense of a jarring ride, as bumps are absorbed well. This is spoiled somewhat by the steering, which offers little feel and requires the driver to make constant small corrections to keep the Kona traveling in a straight line on the highway. The base engine also does a lot to undo all the good work, with only 147 horsepower and 132 lbft of torque on tap. The CBT automatic transmission is civilized enough, but the lack of power is frustrating, and the base engine takes over 9 seconds to haul the Kona from 0 to 60 miles per hour and requires lots of planning when overtaking or merging, especially when laden. The 1.6-liter turbocharged engine in the N-Line and Limited makes the Kona come alive and makes it proper fun, reaching 60 miles per hour in around 7 seconds and always having some power in reserve. Its 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission is snappy and responsive most of the time but can be a bit indecisive and grabby in slow-moving traffic, though. 2023 Kona Exterior The Kona's styling has aged surprisingly well and in this area, the car still looks modern and stylish. It looks compact and dynamic and, according to some people's eyes, it carries off the split-light design with its high-mounted DRLs and low headlights rather better than some contemporary BMWs, but don't quote us. The base SE trim looks a little skimped upon without any roof rails and on its 16-inch wheels and tires, but at least they're proper alloys. SALs get roof rails and wear 17s and the N-Line and Limited, 18s. The SE and SAL share a similar black grille and lower bumper but the SAL gains access to two-tone paint jobs with a black roof. Besides its larger wheels, the M-Line gets the N-Line design treatment with body color lower body side treatment and wheel arch moldings, as well as an aggressive split-level front grille with some bright work on the chin spoiler and gloss black mirrors. Its rear bumper is sportier, with a diffuser-style insert in black and dual exhaust tips. The Limited has the standard SC-SAL nose treatment, but with a black bumper bar and side air intakes, and a satin silver lower valance, it's also the only trim with LED head and taillights. 
Other than the SE and the stock SEL without its convenience package, every other Kona model comes with a sunroof. 2023 Kona Interior The Hyundai Kona's interior doesn't break any new ground and is not as distinctive or innovative as the exterior, but it's stylish enough and solidly screwed together. It stops short of feeling plush, due to the plentiful use of hard plastics on the dashboard, but the textures and grains have been chosen intelligently and the end result is perfectly acceptable at the price, if not expensive looking. CNSAL trims make do with a 4.2-inch driver information display between the main gauges, but N-Line and Limited trims get a 10.25-inch digital gauge cluster. The default touchscreen is an 8-inch item, but from SAL convenience and up, it's replaced by a 10.25-inch display. Only the Limited gets leather upholstery, while the other trims get cloth, a sportier inline cloth with red stitching on the inline. C and SEL get manual air conditioning and the other trims, automatic climate control. The same multifunction three-spoke steering wheel is featured in all Konas, but it's leather trimmed only from the SEL convenience level and onward. Seating and interior space. As a tiny subcompact crossover, the interior of the Hyundai Kona has two seating rows only, theoretically with enough interior space for up to five occupants. There is enough room for full-size adults in front, however, the rear seat is rather tight and although adults can sit there, the legroom and headroom figures of 35.2 inches and 37.8 inches are beaten by most of its rivals. The roomy Volkswagen Taos and Honda HRV in particular offer noticeably more room inside, especially for second-row passengers. Three across the back seat can fit if they're of small stature where children and the center passenger is a little better catered for here because the rear seat is quite flat. Unfortunately, the front seats of the Hyundai Kona aren't heavily bolstered, so they don't hold you in place securely enough when you start enjoying the turbocharged engine on a mountain road even in the supposedly sporty inline model. The view out is reasonably unobstructed, but the glasshouse does taper a bit and the D-pillars are quite broad. Luckily, its small size makes it easy to maneuver and the backup camera helps fill in the blind spots. 2023 Kona Performance The Hyundai Kona gives you a choice between two powertrains and they greatly impact the characteristics of the car. The base engine in the Hyundai Kona SE and SAL trims is a 147 horsepower naturally aspirated 2.0 liter. Mated to a CVT automatic, it makes for a lethargic combination, although it works well enough around town, where the transmission is unobtrusive enough and the power sufficient to get by without too much complaint. Up the speed and it labors on the highway, requiring lots of forethought and a heavy foot on the accelerator to merge, pass, and climb hills. In this guise, the Hyundai Kona's 0 to 60 mph sprint takes more than 9 seconds and its lack of power is the main reason we don't recommend the base trims. The N-Line and Limited come with the 1.6-liter turbocharged 195 horsepower engine and has more than enough power to ensure brisk overtaking to get out of the way of that 18-wheeler bearing down on you in the oncoming lane. There's plenty of snap in everyday driving and the dual-clutch transmission slips between ratios swiftly and smoothly when tasked to perform, enabling the car to get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 7 seconds. It can be a bit jumpy in slow-moving traffic though, where the clutch engagement is sometimes too abrupt and the transmission often a little hesitant, hindering smooth progress. There is no listed trailering capacity for the Hyundai Kona, as the automaker says it's not recommended that you tow with it. No top speed is listed for any of the Konas, but the turbocharged models will probably be limited to 130 miles per hour, given the all-season tires fitted. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.